Good afternoon, everybody. How are you feeling, Christopher? Where are you running to? Oh, you can't hide from me, boy. Maybe you could. You could fit in a lot of small spaces. What are you doing? There ain't nothing in there for you. Come on, let's hang out. And how are you feeling, lady? Sleep enough last night. You didn't feel good last night? You didn't sleep well? No, I didn't sleep enough. Aww. So we're going to have a pretty chill day, which is okay with me. Looks like it's obviously okay with Lauren. Is it okay with you, Ike? I'm not going to bring a flamethrower here today, okay? It makes him happy. As you can hear, Christopher wishes there was a flamethrower here. He's kind of getting mad that there isn't. Maybe I'll get him a toy flamethrower. Do they have those? So we are just getting a start to our Sunday Fun Day Family Fun. That's the new name for it. Uh, so we will take you along for the ride. So Christopher started crying like crazy, but he did really well with his lunch. So Lauren's giving him a cookie. Now he's doing some maniacal laugh. <laughs> oh my god. You are so evil. <laughs> You're going to hold the world hostage for cookies. <laughs> He's nuts, man, but we love him for it. Well, put Christopher down for a nap, and now I got all these chores to do. <laughs> Look at all these dishes. I wish I had something that would help me with all these chores. Need help with chores? Who said that? I'm the voice from infomercials. The guy from the infomercials? Yeah, fatty, that's what I said. All right, what do you have for me? Sounds like you need Grow Up Moron. Grow Up Moron? Grow Up Moron is exactly what you need when you need to grow up, moron. When adulting's got you down, just remember you can't turn back time, idiot. <coughs> oh, it tastes like you who in sadness. Yep, that's exactly what responsibilities taste like. Side effects of Grow Up Moron may include paying your bills on time, going to bed at a reasonable hour, not eating extra large pizzas by yourself, turning off Netflix, saying no to free food, bathing, eating fruit not stuffed in a pie, and routine exercise. Okay, that was a silly way of saying I had to do some adulting right now. That's just how life is, you know? Some days you're shooting flamethrowers at ghosts, the other days you're cleaning the bathroom. What can you do? Lauren, guess what I just did? What? Bought my tickets to the Thanks Killing Musical. Gonna be right here in Columbus on your birthday, actually, Lauren. October 21st. What a present, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. You seem ecstatic. Too bad, buddy. You're too young to go. But I think you'd actually like it. It's about a killer turkey. So it's got killing and animals. So that's your favorite. If you guys are interested in going to the musical here in Columbus, on a, I just fell onto one of Christopher's toys. That's wonderful. Great. I'll keep probably keep that in. If you guys are interested in the Thanks Killing musical, it will be here in Columbus the weekend of October 21st and the weekend of October 28th. All weekend. I'm going to October 21st show. Hope to see you there, or at least hope you guys come and see that show if you're interested. It's about a killer turkey. What more do you need? I'll put a link to tickets below. Well, I got all my chores done, and Lauren spent all day baking an apple pie. How long did it take you, Lauren? Five hours. Five hours. That doesn't even include me going to pick the apples. Yeah, we had to go to the store because they made it, and I'm lying. I don't know how to bake an apple pie, but I sure as heck know how to buy one. Look, I did make an apple pie from scratch from apples I picked one time. One time. That that's count that counts for life. <laughs> I was like 19. Look at you, Miss Betty Crocker over there. Which by the way, Betty Crocker actually isn't a real person. What? Yeah, I know. Found what that a out. Bee? What? What a bee. Well, she's not a bee because she doesn't exist. I imagine I'll eat myself silly here, which is good because I actually had a small lunch. Look at me making good choices. Yeah, and a small breakfast. Look at me. Oh my God. Let's be honest. I'm just going to crash it tonight. It's also because all the pizza I ate late at Roman's last night. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> so true. <laughs>
<laughs> I ate way too much. My belly was hurt. How much hurting. pizza did you eat? We don't need to talk about the numbers, Lauren. I watched the vlog, will I know? Nope, I didn't film that. We did actually have a pizza eating contest on the live stream, though, so if you watched that, it was just who can eat two slices faster. And I'm I, sure you won. Yes, I did win. I don't like those kind of contests, though, because you have to ch you have to like swallow it, and it like, hurts going down because it's not that chewed. It's pretty savage. The pepperoni like shreds your throat. Well, we are zooming to the evening here. Christopher is all clean and ready for bed. Isn't that right? Are you ready for bed? Look at your hair. Your hair always looks good before bed. That's not the case for me. You got a job interview tomorrow? Professor of poop? <laughs> oh, you liked it. You like my dad jokes? Oh, don't put your head near the dog's butt. You don't have to sniff his butt. You're not a dog. Dog. What's a dog say? Hey, what's a pig say? <laughs> well, that is going to do it for us today, guys. I am wiped out. All that adulting just really takes it out of you. Plus, staying up super late last night, setting things on fire. That also takes a lot out of you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Hope you stick around. Probably won't, but I'm glad you're here now. <laughs> I do that sometimes, adding fart noises to the end of sentences. I think it's so much better than a period or an exclamation point. I'm very lucky when I get a nice, fun, exciting vlog like yesterday's vlog, but usually it's pretty mundane. So I try to kind of add some sketches in there like today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you didn't, well, I guess I'll never see you again. <laughs> but if there's a next time, I'll see you then. Whatever, dude.